In this video, I'm going to share how to go from this to this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel if you are new here and I'm so happy to have you here. In today's video, I'm going to share how I spice up my instant ramen to turn it from a super instant cheap college meal to a gourmet dinner. For the sake of this video, I will be using Top Ramen to show how I can spice up the most basic of basic instant ramen packs. Now the reason I am going to be using Top Ramen also is because it is the most accessible and it's the cheapest so if you don't live by a lot of grocery stores or even just live near convenience stores you can probably get your hands on this and you can still really spice it up a couple of other options that are my favorites that really do elevate the experience in terms of the seasoning flavor and the quality of the noodles is my all-time favorite this pack from Costco so I believe it's a lot more expensive than top ramen still very affordable for a meal like all instant ramen is but this is the nog shim tonkatsu ramen and the flavor packets in this one are really really good so I do highly recommend checking out your local Costco and see if they do carry this because I would highly recommend it. Another great ramen that is a classic is the Sapporo Ichiban ramen. And I think I mentioned this before when I was testing out my always pan, but this one is really, really good. It is more expensive than top ramen as well. But in terms of basic instant ramen that also just has a really great flavor, this one is great. So the first thing I'm going to do to start the ramen is I'm going to make soft boiled eggs. Now this is something you can do before you actually start making your ramen because typically when I'm eating my instant ramen, I want the process to be really quick and easy. But for the sake of this video, I'm doing it right before and you can definitely do that. It doesn't take up that much time. So I literally just Googled how to make soft boiled eggs to get the timing right, but you literally put your eggs in the boiling pot and just make sure to take them out before they get hard. This makes a huge difference in the quality of the ramen when you make the final product, you'll see. But I'm sure you're aware like when you get ramen in restaurants, a lot of times they will have a soft boiled egg and it really, it elevates the experience. So we try to use pasture-raised eggs if we can because eggs is one of the food items that I think it's worth spending a little extra money to get high quality eggs. The reason for that is they taste better and they are more nutritionally dense. So you're kind of paying for the nutrition and you can maybe eat less eggs at a higher nutrition rate if you do get pasture-raised eggs. And then I just have my little pot boiling here. Once the water is boiling, I'm going to put two eggs in there and I am going to let it boil for six and a half minutes. My water is boiling so I'm going to drop in my eggs and set a six and a half minute timer. I also have an ice bath ready here because as soon as the timer goes off I'm going to be moving the eggs from the boiling water to the ice bath. So typically when you make instant ramen, you boil the water and then you put the noodles in the water until the noodles soften. Now, I typically just use super, super hot water and then put the noodles in there and I just let them soften as the water kind of cools. <laughs> and it works fine for me. So you could do it either way, whatever works best for you. I like my noodles more al dente. I don't like it when they get too soggy. So that's why I do it that way. So I'm gonna show how I use boiling hot water so that I don't have to cook my noodles before I actually put the seasoning in. I also add three things to the broth and because I add these three things I also wanted to know I do not use the full seasoning packet in the ramen that it comes with. The three sauces that I do add to my broth is low sodium soy sauce so this is salty so that's another reason I don't use the full seasoning packet. So I add it because it has that soy sauce flavor. Sriracha to make it spicy and also add extra flavor. And then pure sesame oil. And this just adds like that little like mwah, that little gourmet factor. Now the more expensive instant ramens that you do buy, the broth is better. Now top ramen is typically just salt, <laughs> like salt and MSG. And so I'm only going to be using like a little bit of that flavor to get that chicken flavor. But other than that, I'm going to use the soy sauce to get that salty flavor. I've also seen people use Heavy cream in their ramen to make it a little creamier. The seasoning in this one is actually a little bit creamy so I definitely can see the appeal of adding a little heavy cream. I'm not going to do that today but that's just another idea if you like your ramen creamier. 
So one of the most enjoyable parts about making ramen at home is being able to add whatever toppings you like. So I personally am going to be adding spinach, tomato, corn, and mushrooms. And those are because those are my favorite things to add in ramen. Now you can of course add bamboo shoots, pork belly, whatever type of meat you would like as well. I am not going to add pork belly because I don't actually really like pork belly in my ramen, but I will pop up a picture of a pork belly that you can buy at Trader Joe's that is really good if you do like pork belly. All right, because I want my spinach to wilt, I'm gonna put my spinach in first, and then I'm going to put my noodles in. And I want my mushrooms to cook down a little bit too, so I'm actually going to put all my toppings in before I add the boiling water into the soup. I'm going to add about half of this seasoning packet and then just put a little bit more of these seasonings and I'll adjust it to taste. But I'm going to put the seasoning packet in, I'm going to fill it up with boiling water, and then I'm going to put the plate over my bowl to let everything cook. Now, if you are going to depend on the water to cook your noodles, just make sure that it is as, as hot as possible. I would definitely recommend using a water heater or just boiling water on a stove top. As a final garnish to my ramen, I will be putting my poached egg in my ramen, and then I also will top it with this seaweed. Got this from Trader Joe's as well, but you can get this pretty much anywhere. Definitely at Asian grocery stores, but um, at Costco you can buy this. You can find this pretty much anywhere. I'm going to add my finishing touches, and then I will show you the final product. As you can see, the noodles are nice and soft. All right, so I added my poached egg, my seaweed. I'm going to just top it with a little sriracha and a little sesame oil, and we will be good to go. All right, so here is the finished product. I gave it a try. It is delicious, so good. So I cannot wait to eat this. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you some inspiration next time you are craving some instant ramen. You really can add anything, and it makes it so much better. So definitely recommend giving it a try. If you add anything to your instant ramen, please comment down below. I would love to hear new ideas of new things to try in my instant ramen. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like this video, make sure to like it below. Also subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!